from part one. Welcome to the Chris and Tina Johnson. Guitar Last strings. episode we took all guitar strings off. Change. Change. Guitar strings. And we wanted to know if we can take them I all wasn't off sure at the same time. if it was time. safe to take the guitar strings off the guitar all at once or should we take the strings off one at a time to ensure that there's constant tension? There's nothing unsafe about taking all the strings off of your guitar all at once. Oh. Welcome to the Chris and Tina Johnson Project. And last time we took strings off of the guitar, and this time we're gonna put them on. We bought these Didario strings at musicianfriends.com because you get points back for every dollar you spend, and then you can use those points to buy other things. I like using extra light strings because after prolonged guitar playing, it does hurt your fingers, and I don't have that many calluses yet. <laughs> so I really want them extra light. Hey, we want to thank you all for watching the Chris and Tina Johnson project. And that is the only way to support us. We don't need any money. But we also want you to continue subscribing, hitting the bell, liking, and any comment is always, always welcome. So here you see that I'm separating the strings. And you can actually have a guideline on the little packet that tells you which string is what and which strings goes where and you can always look up youtube videos to figure out how to put the guitar strings on so on the packet you can see that the first string is the little e string the second string is the b string the third is the g string fourth d the fifth is a and the sixth is the e string so everything is indicated on the guitar string Packet. I'm gonna slow it a little bit down so you can see and read. <laughs> you can also just take a screenshot and look at that or it'll be on the back of every string that you buy, especially the Dario. I'm very new to changing acoustic electric guitars so I was watching DIY YouTube channels and the ball that stops the string from coming out. The ball actually hooks against the bridge plate and is held there by the pin. If all of this is set up correctly, you can actually take the pin out and the string will not come out of the bridge. I don't recommend that you do that because it's dangerous. So don't take the little balls on the end of the strings out because it's dangerous. So I'm trying to put in the strings as indicated on the packet and it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Here you can see that the balls on the end of the string stops the string and holds it in place. Can you make sure and that this is just, flat? Uh, make sure that it's on the bottom level. Flat. Is it? Yeah, it's right. Thank I know you. what you're talking about. It's right. Did you know that the Bible encourages us to learn new things? So this is not a how-to. How to string a guitar but it's more like my first time stringing a guitar <laughs> so just trying to show you how to unwind the guitar strings so there are the little ends and it's interesting to note that there's two kind of wound together and it's kind of satisfying too to do this do you hear chris in the background he actually sings more than me and he makes up songs all the time. <laughs> there he is, <laughs> just messing around. <laughs> That is such a satisfying sound. Tasha, do you like it? Do you like how we fixed it? Yeah. You fixed the guitar? Are you happy with it? 
so here the guitar is all strung yeah the strings are still all like spaghetti but you can cut them off um it's been i don't know six seven twelve months since i strung the guitar they're still good <laughs> so i think i did a pretty good job uh, for our first time and let us know in the comments how you fared i'm just gonna insert your comments first. let us know if this was helpful or not and um any comments are welcome i used a nail cutter to clip off the ends of the strings <laughs> thank you for watching the chris and tina johnson project till next time